Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of April. Um, it is um, a pick a card reading. These are messages from Spirit. And uh, so you will notice I have three different uh, messages here. Card number one is represented by the Rose Quartz. Card number two is represented by this, a Citron and card number three is represented by pyrite. So you can just pause the video, reflect upon uh, your choice, and then come back to hear the message. So let's begin for those who chose the rose quartz. You have falling. So um, for some, uh, this um, this represents the in-between. Uh, it could be the end of what once was, the letting go of who you were, and uh, a rebirth into a new life. It can represent unknown outcomes, complete immersion in the process of change for others this can be holding on to what is no longer best for you, the fear of what is coming next, an inability to, uh, to surrender to the process of change, wanting everything to stay the same, even, uh, even while change is taking place. Okay. Now, you're most likely currently experiencing a time of descent. You're in between worlds, yet to land, yet to know what will come next, yet to feel the impact of the inevitable moment when your feet touch the earth again. At present, it is natural to feel doubt, discouragement, nerves, and even fear. You have leapt now you must fall. Soon you shall land, but first comes the descent. You have launched yourself into the unknown. You have taken a risk. You have dared to follow your instinct without the thought and consideration um, that would have seen you miss the chance that will come to you. But right now you are completely within the process of descent. You may have allowed yourself to let go of people, places, objects, roles, or uh, ways of being. It could be that a relationship or a type of career or the routine you once had is now in flux. Something has unraveled and you are moving into a different part of your destiny. A fall can be accompanied by disillusionment, uh, a sense something is being broken, uh, a shattering of beliefs and perspectives, and the inability to know what will come next. You may wonder, um, just like Alice here, Okay, you may wonder whether you will fall right through the earth. In other words, uh, will everything in your world end? Will you simply keep falling and falling with no end at all? It will end. There will be a new place and a fresh way of being to explore. For now, surrender to the descent into the passageway to the next life. The fall is the moment before rebirth. The best possible response is to relax into it. Observe and wonder at what is to come. Know this was the only way through to the next stage of your evolution. The entrance to your own wonderland. There is no new discovery without descent, without relinquishing some of who you were. This is the way you will become who you are next 
meant to be. So that is for those who chose the rose quartz. For those of you who have chosen the citron, you have a moment's regret. So um, for some, this could be second guessing your decisions, berating yourself for the choices you've made, feeling regretful and missing what was. It is a card of nostalgia and living in the past, um, a focus on what is going wrong or what could still go wrong. For others, this could be um, forging ahead without reflection, uh, the refusal to remember, um, a focus on the future and lack of appreciation for what was good about the past. When we make life changes and take large steps into the unknown, it is perfectly natural to have a moment or two when, when we wonder whether we've made a series of mistakes. When this card comes to you, it shines a light on the doubts you're having and asks you to accept these uncertainties as part of the process of change. You are so very far away from where you once were, but you still have no clear idea of exactly where your path will take you, and you are filled with uncertainty. Instead of allowing dread to fill your mind, live as if life is a great adventure. Understand that as you change, there will be many ups and some downs too. It is not in your best interest to judge yourself harshly. Instead, anchor yourself firmly in the present moment and allow any regret and nostalgia for your comfortable past to wash over you. Let it flow on by. You are on a remarkable journey of change. It is one that will lead to wisdom, experience, and adventure. You have made a wonderful choice, so take heart in knowing that all change creates waves and disruption. Do not make any more, um, uh, do not make more of your misgivings um, yeah, do not make more of your misgivings than they, than they are. They are uh, the natural consequences of bravely stepping out of your comfort zone. For those of you who chose the pyrite, you got never jam today promises that never come to be. It's a card of empty words um, and could be not living in the now. This card has appeared because maybe um, uh, because words words may be plentiful but their deeds are few. Um, it can be being attracted by promises of good times and abundance that may never be kept. Do not buy whatever they are selling you. Um, for others, it can be um, being easily manipulated because you are believing what people say rather than what they do. You know, this is somebody's actions that are not matching their words. And living off promises and hopes, wondering if that someone will ever deliver the payoff they've promised you. Fantasizing about tomorrow, dreaming of yesterday. 
When the White Queen makes her outrageous statement that jam is for tomorrow and for yesterday but never for today, Alice realizes that no one is ever going to get any jam. So when this card comes to you, what can it mean? Well, it is likely that someone is making promises that sound like there is plenty on offer when in fact it is extremely unlikely they will ever deliver and come through with all of the wonderful things they are attracting you with. You see, when this card comes, someone is claiming they can do a lot of good for you, but whether they are offering uh, a pay rise, a, a good time, or a commitment, it is never to be. The promise is uh, is never ever delivered or enjoyed today. Sorry, <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Just going to get my dog settled here. Okay, sorry about that. So um, they exist on promises of a better future and the memories of a wonderful past, but they will never make good on... The <laughs> sorry, he's back. <laughs> They will never make good on their promises when it comes, uh, when it most counts, and that is today. Fortunately, Alice is not at all attracted by the offerings of the White Queen. She literally does not want the jam, so she cannot be manipulated. But those who do want the jam could be forever living in the hope that one day they will get jam. The fact is, this will never ever happen. So, listen to the person making you some rather wonderful promises or boasting about how much they can offer others. When, uh, when will they deliver? Are they always talking about the past and planning for a wonderful future, but uh, struggling in the present. If so, it is best to be like Alice and have no desire for promises which will never be fulfilled. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Sorry about the little doggy interruption. And uh, many blessings to all of you.